Uh, I mean, what are you expecting from this? Who's who's going to go where on the map? I think it's going to be Matu mid, right? That's what I would imagine, because he's done the Lycan matchup before. He gets attacked, and they like to... Oh, they actually have oh. engagement coming out right yeah, away. Yeah, a little awkward. Who's going to start it off? They've got the Arctic Burn slow on to Crystallize. They've got the Fisher as well. Moving closer and closer. Chaos oh, Bolt from Miracle, and that'll be your first blood. Go in the way of Liquid. Who's going to take it? Mind control. I'm just trying to set up for my control here. They've got mana burn skill too, and my control's very low on mana as too. So coming up from the rear, Roger. Gets the mana burn off. My control's completely oom here. They're getting yeah. the body blocks too. I think got quite enough damage with the stun. It's gonna be close. GH comes in with the TP, but I tell you what, it's not in time. Mind control's done. GH should find General in response, or at least he's looking for it. Oh, General could get away. There's no points in the passive yet. In fact, General, he comes back in, mans up, starts to beat into GH. They can't quite bring the shaker down. In fact, Roger did tank a couple of tower heads. May cost him his life. No, turns with the stun, and he gets the kill. Roger takes down GH. Kuro trying to finish him off here as he flies across the tree line and he does manage to find it. So both teams sort of trading kills back and forth. They end up emphasizing on the other two lanes a bit more. Even though they had him in that tri lane, he he is a bit sacked. Well they're gonna have a try for Dendi here as the front comes through Kuro. The slow off GH does find the Fisher, no real sort of block. Got the Arctic Burn connection, in fact, with the walls blocking Dendi up. Looks like he should be in trouble. Nice stun, catches off two of them. It's buying more time for Dendi to get out of there, but again, this beautiful block from Matumba Man and his walls does allow them to get the kill. And he's Kuro now in trouble, but indeed, Matumba Man with the ult ready to turn. Looks for Suneko, Fisher block is out. Matumba Man claims the double kill. They do end up losing Kuroki to Roger as Roger continues to chase him down. Liquid didn't seem to have a clue of that going on. Yeah, they definitely had no idea. Kuroki was sitting behind Miracle Bottom. They thought some gank was coming out, but now Navi, they have their strength. The strength of numbers grouping up, but they have to watch out for the Winter's Curse. Roger does get the stun onto Kuroki. They take a man's time. They swap him back. The Echo Slam comes up with a spike. Carapace was there from Roger. They've lost Kuro, but it returns to Neko. Goes down. One for one. But to a man ready to fight. So is Miracle. Pops the Phantasm. Oh, brings in God. Dendi. Triple kill for Matuma Man and Navi. I don't know if they're even getting out of this one. Roger gets ripped apart as well and crystallize he's also going to be going down by the looks of it mind control blocks him off crystallize trying to desperately do something but there's nothing he can do at all 13 minutes in they get the Rosham, but they subsequently get massively team wiped at this point in time with that book too it just shredded everybody some of man is absolutely loving it roger Let's have eyes onto GH. GH getting all the bounties. Gets both of them. Only 150 gold away from having the Blink Dagger 14 minutes in. This is going to be strong timing for GH. Does get caught out by the stun. And this will put that Blink Dagger on hold if they can finish him off. Mind Control jumps forward, but GH is gone. Sonic Wave comes out onto two. Spike Carapace was there. Now look towards Crystallize. The Shadow Word heal from Seneco. Keeping Crystallize alive. Now no, Kuro gets the burst off. Pops down the Winter's Curse. Seneco's hitting into him. Can they keep Crystallize alive? He swaps himself away. Tag teaming Dendi into the front lines of the action. Gets the slow on to Kuroki. Roar as well. They're looking to take down the Wyvern and they will find a beautiful stun from Roger. Gets both of them. But my Control, he's still able to blink out. Does doesn't matter, Dendi gets the double as the Viper Strike Poison ticks him down. Are and push coming in for Liquid. Navi, very little they can do at these tier twos. I mean, they are going to try for it, but Matumba Man straight away oh, going for the old. In. GH just gets spotted out. Indeed, they'll turn around with the Chaotic Offering, but it only holds them back for a couple of seconds. The Swap comes in, but look who's there. GH gets the jump straight away with the Fisher out. Dendi will fall. GH does go down in return. Matuma Man looking to continue to chase. He's a little low himself, does have to be careful. Will get himself away. Winter's Curse onto General just to make sure he couldn't do anything to interfere with Matuma Man's escape. And Na'Vi will lose the Beastmaster as well. Three down. I mean, they do bring some of Liquid fairly low. They do get the kill onto GH. They go for it here. It they worked last time. But this time, Liquid oh, knows it's up. They do indeed. But Roger's got the eyes on them. Na'Vi they will know it's they know coming there, in. Though. They've got the sentry on the high ground there. They did see Roger for a moment. They're trying to walk into the pit, though. I mean, they're not dying fast enough. They're, they're still trying to commit to this, but this it's only a half health. It's 
Still gonna take a bit of time. The upheaval and the nether toxin are it's zoning out Liquid. Apparently so, yeah. Liquid are feeling scared of going in, and Na'Vi, they get away with it, but they may lose lives here. The Fisher comes out onto two. General going straight away onto the side of it all with the axes onto GH. Dendi looking at GH, forces forward, but they're already Na'Vi. They've lost the Beastmaster. Matuma Man focusing Dendi. Dendi swallows the cheese. They do bring down GH. Aegis has been popped. Liquid being forced back. Dendi ready to try and continue the chase with Crystallize. Roger's coming in from the sidelines. He's going to look for the perfect turn. He may just find it. No, Phantasm from Miracle comes out. The BKB's there as well. Looks towards Crystallize. Swaps himself away, but the stun flies through. Miracle turns his attention towards the bottom. Oh then the God. two. Double kill for Miracle. And maybe even more. He chases Crystallize, trying to desperately hide in the tree lines. The walls leading forward, looking for the vision. Miracle can't quite get the rift off. A little too far, a little too speedy with that mask, and Crystallize will survive, but the rest of Na'Vi fall, and again, they do get this Roshan. General does have Blink Dagger, he has Necro Book and Roar. A little bit low on the mana, Roger. but... Looking for a lead in. Cold Embrace will be there. They get the Roar onto Kuroki, trying to focus down the Wyvern first. They drop down the Chaotic Offering, but Miracle's there with the BKB and the Phantasm. Looking towards Crystallize. Crystallize gets himself out of range, but the Warlord's not going to be as lucky. Picked apart. Crystallize still gets dragged in by the grips of Lickroyd. They've got the Fisher block off on Dendi. Dendi down as well. Roger, the only one to escape with his life intact. They've lost four Na'Vi. Liquid always seems to have like that uh, that contingency plan. They pick the super late game here that can do. Oh my! Oh, they walk. I mean, the smoke gets dispelled. They do get a three-man stun off from the Sven. They look straight towards the Earth Spirit. GH is gone. First blood for Dendi. Roger. He's falling low. He's going to go down in response. Liquid do get the one-for-one -one trade. Crystallize has to get out of there. Mind control giving the rundown with the Iron Shell. Suneko falling low. He'll pop. Kuro turning towards Crystallize hasn't got enough control to get him. In the way. They need the maximum amount of ion shells and everybody. Mind control is super low though, he can't really join the fray. They're looking to go for mid though with these oh, ion shells. Oh Roger, he's backing up to the tower. Matsuma Man jumping in, but he's pretty beefy. The ion shell is bringing him down low, but they're just going to look to turn. Matsuma Man falling low. He's got to be careful. He has the aphotic shield from Kuroki, but Denny with the wraparound looks towards GA. He takes him down. They will lose Matsuma Man as Crystallized turns up. Na'Vi not only getting two, I think they're going to get three out of this one. Aphotic shield not enough to save Kuro. And Na'Vi, they are... They're absolutely crushing this early game. This yeah. is... Yeah, Ion Shell just seems to tickle, and Kuroki can't really get involved. Like, he's in a bad end. He's not a team fighting five, which we usually tend to see Kuroki playing. And they look towards Miracle, but I'm wanting to chase that. He's the damage. He's the only real damage that they have with the Exorcism, if he's able to actually get it off with any, any disables. And they're chasing down Denzi. Na'Vi are moving over. Liquid have to be careful how long they chase this with Suneko there. They could have got to be very wary of this one. They swap Kuro back. He does have the six now. Borrowed time comes through. But they'll almost certainly chase the control. And with the magic missile, also on the sidelines, General picks off mind control. He's got a DD on the... Oh, the my goodness. Na'Vi are absolutely doing it here so far in game two. GH tries to roll away, but General blocks him off. <laughs> he tries to TP out. He's not going to make it. General gets the double kill. Best of a bad situation for, for Liquid Red. Really. Yeah. But now... Navi smoked up, they're looking for the fight. The pain is going to come. What kind of jump can General find? Smoke is dispelled, they'll see two. Matuma Man goes forward, straight away on the back lines. Crystallize comes in with a stun onto two. They are starting to back off with the borrowed time on Kuro. They get the exorcism and silence out, but Suneko's there with the SWAT to buy space for Crystallize to get back. Matuma Man be surrounded. And in fact, yeah, they managed to bring down the Sven. Roger and Dandy turning up to the fight, looking towards Matuma Man, but the Aphotic Shield will save him. Miracle gets the double kill. They have taken down two, and Liquid, they do lose GH. We'll see if they lose any more. They are finding Miracle on the sidelines here, and they will finish off the Death Prophet as well. But this, I got to be, that is a little spooky for, Mir for Na'Vi. They are. Right now, and it is daytime for another three minutes. And they have that beautiful dream combo between the Earth Spirit and the Dark, see if they yep. can land it. But let's see if they can. TH actually jumps in, Boulder Smash straight away, but here comes the response. Chris Lights pops the BKB, gets the stun onto free. Kuro has the borrowed time. The rest of them trying to get out of there. self heals from Miracle, trying to buy some time for himself, but he gets ripped to pieces by the God Strength fan. Miracle down for 50. Crystallized jumps forward. The Echo Saber slow, holding GH in place, allows Na'Vi to claim a second. 
they have a minute until it happens. It's not like anything huge will happen. Liquid actually still thinks that they're doing it. They've run in. Maybe Liquid's gonna. Maybe, maybe Liquid's desperate the and they try. Yeah, they might. Oh just this. ho ho! Do they get away with this one? Liquid's in there with the ghost. They're bringing it down fast. Navi are definitely going to want to contest this one. Dendi stun is open up to Miracle. Chrysalite jumps in, gets stunned, but he's already got the God Strength out. Turns towards Russia, Mind Control steals the Aegis, but the damage for Chrysalize is too much. Liquid have lost two. Mind Control drops down the wall, but Miracle, he's surrounded. The Impetus and Seneco bringing him down low. He's got the Siphon buying some time for him, but Chrysalize has already picked up the triple. Dendi takes the kill onto Miracle. This is looking over. Oh, my God. He does manage to steal the Aegis and get out. Hard time for them to find that jump they need. Michael Joe's going to try for it. Does manage to get two in the wall. Boulder Smash comes out only onto one of them. But Crystallize jumps. He gets the two-man stun. Oh, just, and cuts GH and Miracle down. They turn towards Mind Control. He's popped. The Aegis hits the ground. Matuma Man swallows the trees, trying to desperately fight back against the war cry, though it's too hard. Crystallize isn't taking any damage at all. He's still full health. GG is called. And dare I say, Na'Vi beating down Liquid, maybe even as at least as hard as Liquid beat down Na'Vi in game one. Woo! The Abaddon experiment did not work. No, we won't <laughs> see that one again. Dark Spear and Abaddon, but both these two heroes have fallen off, and I think this game might have been might have shown a little bit of reason. I think Navi also this last pick Sven was absolutely perfect. The Warcry. Uh.